Hey everyone, end of March 2024, we traveled to the Maldives. This was a last minute trip, so we didn't organize much nor look too much into the Maldives. We visited two public islands, Digura and Mafushi. We opted for public island because we weren't willing to pay a thousand euro or so per night to stay in a luxury and private island. Both islands we visited were really different. And while there, we learned some great tips and this Maldives itinerary will not be following what we did but rather what we would recommend doing after being there. We spent 6 days in the Maldives and with this updated itinerary it would be the perfect amount of time and the best way to budget the Maldives while still being able to experience the real Maldives. So if you too are planning a trip to the Maldives then we hope that you will find this video useful. Our Maldives itinerary is the following. Day 1. Arrive in Malé International Airport and take a speedboat to Mafushi. Then explore the island of Mafushi. Day 2. Full day trip to see nurse sharks, stingrays, eat on a sandbank and snorkel. Day 3. Day trip to see mantas and whale shark and then transfer to Digora. Day 4. Chill on the beaches of Digora, snorkel, explore the island. Day 5. Visit the tip of Digora, brunch and then head to the beach. Day 6. Last swim in the Maldivian water and then transfer to Mali airport. After, if you want to visit another island or do another tour like visit of a luxury and private island, you could consider adding a night in Mafushi. And if you prefer to have more time to rest and enjoy the true beauty of the island of the Maldives, which we would recommend doing, then add a night in Digora. Arrived by plane in Mali International Airport. Found a speedboat desk based on information provided by your accommodation and then take a 30 to 60 minute speedboat to Mafushi. Once on Mafushi Island, check in your hotel, drop your bag and organize your next day tour to see nurse sharks, stingray, etc. Then put your swimsuit on as it is time to go explore the island. Mafushi is a small island, so you can easily walk around and later find your way to the Bikini Beach. Enjoy your first Maldivian waters and maybe you will even spot a little black tip shark. Stay there until sunset. To end the day, go for dinner in one of the restaurants of the island. That day will be a big day. After breakfast, go meet your tour crew for the day and then embark on your speedboat. After 45 minutes or so, you will arrive at the nurse shark spot. The boat will first feed the sharks that will gather behind it. Then get in the water, swim with the nurse shark, take a few pictures and enjoy them being around you. On your way to your next stop, you may encounter some dolphins jumping around. The next stop will be a shipwreck, a fun place to snorkel and take some pictures. But don't miss out on the nice coral reef next to it, where you will most probably be all alone. Time for lunch, that will take place on a sandbank. But don't forget that there are tides in the Maldives, so at the end of lunch, the sandbank may almost be gone. Your final destination will be the island of Fulido, our favorite thing of the day. There, you will be able to see and touch stingrays. They are so nice and so friendly. And a turtle may even join the party. Once back in Mafushi, 
return to your hotel, chill by the pool and then take a shower. For dinner, head out to a restaurant. And to finish the day, why not go for a night walk on the island? After breakfast, get all your stuff and bags and embark for a 1 hour 30 to 2 hour speedboat ride to reach the waters near Digora Island. Your first stop will be Menta Point, where you will jump in the water and snorkel with Menta. Take some deep breath and dive toward it to make some amazing memories. But do remember that while chasing wildlife, you may not encounter them. After a short ride this time, you will snorkel one more time, but it will be with the majestic whale shark. After that, you will have lunch on Digora Island, where you will actually stay for the rest of your Maldivian adventure. Check in your hotel, discover your room, and then get a bike to explore the island. Cross the whole island of Digora, bike through the jungle, and then go to the tip of the island. Then buy bike and on the way stop in a restaurant or have dinner in your accommodation. Enjoy your first Maldivian breakfast and try out the Masuni. Then hop on a bike and head to Turtle Point. Find yourself a nice spot under the shade of a palm tree and discover what the Maldives are really about. An empty, public bikini beach? Isn't that paradise? Though be aware of the falling coconut, be sure that your spot is not under them. Spend some time there, go in the warm Maldivian waters, snorkel around to try to find the turtle and discover the reef. For lunch, get on your bike to go to a nearby restaurant. In the afternoon, if you feel like exploring more the island, you can go toward the tip of the island to discover new and wider beaches. But if, like us, you are into finding that turtle, you will quickly head back to Turtle Beach, where this time you may find a hidden spot as the tide is high. Get your mask and fins on and head back in the water. And here it is, here is that beautiful turtle. To end the day, buy some snacks and drinks at the supermarket and enjoy an aperitif. Then have dinner in your accommodation. Set your alarm and wake up early to try to catch sunrise. Then bike all the way to the tip of Digora Island. Walk on the sandbank going toward the private island of Lux. And if you feel like it, go all the way there. 
Unfortunately, it is not allowed to enter the Lux Island. Take your first swim of the day in the warm waters of the Maldives. Then head back to your accommodation for breakfast, which will be more like a brunch. Chill a bit in your accommodation while enjoying a cup of coffee. Later, the adventure continues. Why not go for a walk along the beautiful beach of Digura? Spend the rest of the day chilling on the warm sand, watching wildlife and snorkeling. At the end of the afternoon, return to your accommodation for a shower and finish the day with some local food. Sadly, this is your final day, so let's make most of it. After breakfast, Let's hit the beach one last time, snorkel some more, and enjoy this breathtaking water for the final time. Then Head back to your accommodation to pack your bags and check out. Maybe have a little snack before the speedboat. And then take the speedboat back to Mali Airport. Let's talk about cost without the international flight and for two people. In our Maldives itinerary, you spend two nights in Mafushi and three nights in Digura. The total cost for Mafushi will be around 630 euro, with accommodation costing 172 euro, excursion 317, food 65 and transportation 50 euro. The total cost for Digura will be around 862 euro, with accommodation reaching 373 euro, excursion 0, food 120 and transportation 112 euro. Of course, this will depend on the exchange rate. But this is giving us a grand total of around 1222 euro for two 